Hi, welcome back to Inside Weiermann, the video series that brings our malt house to your brew house. Today's topic is Bavarian wheat. Great for baking bread, essential for brewing a Hefeweizen. I brought along our range of wheat malts and we will discuss them in a minute. Right, so what did I bring you in terms of wheat? Well, here at Weiermann we've got six different wheat malt varieties where you can brew an excellent Weizen beer with or some other beer styles that do require wheat in the recipe. But let's look a bit back, um, where does it come from? Back in 1516 when the Reinhardtsgebot was invented in Germany there was only mentioning of barley. Well, that was the reason because wheat was so important for baking bread. There shouldn't be a competition against, uh, you know, the food was first and then the beer came. Yes, we do say in Bavaria beer is liquid bread, but yet again um, it was predominantly brewed with uh, barley and uh, only then after this has been opened up a bit, wheat was allowed to be used over here in Germany for brewing beer. Wheat beers, Weizen beer, they have to have at least 50% of wheat in the malt bill, otherwise they would not be allowed to be called a Weizen beer or a wheat beer in Germany. And um, so what is so special about the wheat? Well, first of all, the wheat kernels does not have a husk, so it does not have any filter properties. That's the reason why you need to have a solid barley base for good lautering processes. So here um, the wheat that we use, Elixir for example, is one of the varieties that we malt in our malt house, has excellent brewing properties. There is no actual brewing wheat. These wheats are all being developed for the baking industry. So it's up to the knowledge of the maltster to decide which ones are out there that can be used for brewing beer with. But the market itself is too small to make a dedicated uh, wheat grain for brewing. Mm -hmm. So um, we do have the pale color varieties for this very light colored um, Weizen beer. Then we have a Bohemian one um, from our Bohemian floor malt facility. We've spoken in a separate video about our floor malting facility, um, so that gives an extra flavor to it. Then we have a smoke wheat um, to brew a Polish Gretzer or Groditsky, um, which does require smoked wheat in it. Um, but you can also use it for, um, for example, we have an October wheat here, um, where we use a slight portion of the smoked wheat and it's a beautiful autumn uh, type wheat beer, whereas once you get to the very pale ones with its high attenuation and a lot of carbonization, they are a perfect companion for being out in the countryside during a bicycle season and it's a very refreshing vice beer to drink in the beer garden. Um, if you want to brew a wheat beer with a bit more body, bit more amber color, um, something you know a little bit more lively when the sun shines into the glass. Uh, the Kara wheat is the addition that you should put into your wheat beer and on the other end of the spectrum you do have the uh, chocolate wheat for obviously very dark uh, wheat beers um, that benefit from the roasted wheat. Along with the German wheat beer, just like in this example here, um, other top fermented beers have wheat in their malt bill as well, which are for example the Berliner Weisse, Berliner Weisse style beers if you brew them outside of Berlin, same with the Kölsch beers, the Cologne style beers, also a top fermented beer specialty from Cologne with a portion of wheat malt inside. And, um, Multigrain beers uh, with, together with rye and uh, spelt uh, benefit from wheat. 
Uh, so here with the six uh, wheat malts, you have uh, a very nice range of wheats to brew your beers with. And um, I hope you enjoyed our short excursion into the Bavarian wheat that goes around the world. And um, if you want to support us, give us a like on our social media channels. And I hope to see you soon again. All the best.